I mean, just speaking on Court's podcast, it's finally a podcast that you can come on. No trick questions, no leading questions. A podcast is not built on hype, not built on controversy and, and beef. And it gives people a chance to know who you are. When I like got into this industry, mm-hmm. I made it a must to stay in line as far as like the, the, the people that was over me, the elders, the mm-hmm. G's, so to speak, to always right. show them respect, to go to them and converse with them. So if y'all like to give us our flowers for doing our great deeds. I mean, we appreciate that, but that ain't what we do it for. We just do it because it's in us, not on us. And the way to keep friends with billionaires is never ask them for shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They'll take you out to 100 dinners, put you on the boats, yeah. take you on vacation yeah. with them, but as soon as you ask them for something, <laughs> they're gone. Pac wasn't a gangster. He was something above and beyond that. He, was, he didn't fight for money. He didn't fight for attention, for clout. Mm-hmm. He did it on principle. Because there's a reason to die for her right now. There's a reason to die for you right now. And he was prepared to do that. Because everybody want clout. Everybody want to go viral. Instead of an IG, they need to get an OG. You know, mm-hmm. they need people like me and you. Yeah, see, to talk the, to the them crazy and tell thing them is they, different. They do. They just ha- Sometimes they have just the wrong type of mm-hmm. images. But we believed in something yeah. you know what i'm saying like you put you said well, you had a, you had a chain of command yeah like this generation don't have why that. they don't believe in nothing because everything is immediate it's, like it's, they don't have a bigger vision there's too many indians and no chiefs that's my message to you bro i just want you to be safe i want you to Every keep growing and, right. and, and be be receptive to different ideas be open remain pliable and don't be afraid to make changes bro don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone did you ever feel this pressure you know being that you're not enough of this yeah, not man. enough of that and you're in the middle like man. what was that fight biracial is a cold game it, it, that mm-hmm. no one really talks about because right. i mean it's really right. common now i mean mm-hmm. we're a melting pot now but in mm-hmm. the 80s first of all my dad was, told me he was always fighting because the white men didn't like him with my mom. I've dated two guys on the wheelchair. Oh, uh-huh. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm just curious. <laughs> you ride that motherfucking wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with black folks don't close and not door. wanting the don't kids close to close the door? door. What don't is that? Don't close my door. I don't know what's going on. Don't close my door. <laughs> I think that's close everybody. I hate, I hate when my son be like, I'm going to shut this door. the bathroom. <laughs> don't close. The, I ain't closing my Me door. Me and my wife was just talking about that. Am I closing my door? If hey. I'm not closing my door and I'm the adult, don't close your yeah, door. Yeah, because everybody got... You know they horror story or they time they got punked out by Tookie. Tookie's sitting in a low rider with I think probably barefoot Pookie and some other nondescript murder and looking. <laughs> I seen him top like, ah, that's Tookie. <laughs> <laughs> I ran back in the house. I said, why you got that shit on anyway? I can't question God because God know what he's doing. Right. You feel me? So it's like I gotta just, all right, God, I don't understand, man, but. Yeah. I trust you. I mean, I, my mother died in 2010, so I know that pain of losing yeah. a parent is like yeah. nothing else, bro. Damn, that shit threw me off. What's That's contributing weird. to the, the disconnect between the younger generation and the older generation, you think? The, the older generation, my n- because instead of helping, they criticize. Instead of trying to help us, they tell us what we ain't doing and how much better they was than us when they was coming up. Mm-hmm. That's the guy's going to make us not like you. Yeah, but now let, let me push back on that, because some n- old n- do hate on the young n- but could some Most of it, them. but could some of it just be critiquing, giving you some advice? I've been offered a lot of money to be on different people's podcasts. I come to courts because he's holding court, and, it, and it's always love. 